Throughout the year, protests have gripped countries worldwide with the public using it as an effective method of getting their message across to the authorities. But as RT's Maria Finoshna reports, this kind of freedom of expression is now under threat in some states which claim to be bastions of democracy. From the US, Canada, Brazil, to as far as Thailand, and much of Europe. Basically, the large group of protesters. People protest. They are furious with austerity policies in Europe, the NSA surveillance and drones in America, and a wide range of concerns like freedom of the press and the loss of the secular state in Turkey. Disenchanted, disagreeing, and desperate to be heard. When they go through the usual channels of electoral democracy, they just have a feeling that the governments aren't representing their interests. So they feel they have no alternative but to take to the streets and express themselves in a way that the governments cannot ignore them. And the governments haven't ignored them. There is certainly a problem in many of these protests that there is some sort of gap between popular feeling and the way governments react. Many of the protests sparked on different continents and in different countries this year ended up with clashes between protesters and authorities. The greatest fear the government has is that people will feel protest is fashionable, is that people will feel that democracy is fashionable. Some decided to use the law to protect themselves from these risks. In Chicago, in Quebec and in Spain, anti-protest laws set heavy fines or even jail sentences for demonstrating or participating in allegedly violent protest. Democracy is not just having an elected government. It is also being able to accept, listen to and incorporate many different voices. And it seems that democracies are under threat. What's being passed off as representative democracy, but which is actually government by corporatist globalists, they make some minor concessions, hoping that the protests will dissipate and then they can continue business as usual. But with protests now becoming a more popular form of dialogue with authorities, it will hardly be an easy thing to do. They protest different things. They protest what they see as a police state. They protest against the persecution of whistleblowers. This has certainly not been the peaceful movement that the protesters said that it would be. Marie Vnoshna, RT.